Indian Motorcycles just announced the all-new 2022 Indian Pursuit, which is their newest touring motorcycle powered by the Power Plus water-cooled engine and designed for those that really want to travel on two wheels. I have eight things you need to know. Hello everyone, I am Mike and welcome to New Bike Mike where I like to share information about new bikes that I find interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please remember to hit the subscribe. After all, it is free. Information started appearing about the Pursuit months ago, but most recently we got some details that not only confirmed that it was going to be powered by the water-cooled power plant from the Challenger, but that it had the same wheelbase and tires. We knew the overall dimensions were different with this bike being bigger and taller than the Challenger, leading us to suspect that a trunk was going to be added to the platform. Let's get into it and take a look at what Indian has delivered to us. 1. Models so we get an Indian Pursuit Limited, which has chrome finishes, and an Indian Pursuit Dark Horse for those looking for a blacked out look. The fairing has the same style and look as the Challenger, but in addition to the obvious trunk, I can see some other differences from the Challenger as well. We get lower fairings branded with Pursuit on them. Then there are these rear crash bars, and they're a nice addition as well. And the passenger gets floorboards instead of pegs, and heated grips are standard. All these things help set the tone that this bike is coming from the factory ready for those looking to put long days in the saddle. Let's see what else we can find. 2. Engine Powered by the same Power Plus engine that is in the Challenger, this 108 cubic inch liquid cooled V-twin has overhead camshafts and 4 valves per cylinder. She puts out 122 horsepower and 128 foot-pounds of torque and comes with hydraulic valve lash adjusters as well as hydraulic camshaft chain adjusters. You will find this motor is easy to maintain and very reliable. We also get a 6-speed transmission and belt final drive. 3. Chassis and Suspension Because the motor is a stressed member of the frame and they are using a lightweight aluminum frame, they are able to save a few pounds on weight. This new Touring model weighs 912 pounds ready to ride. That includes a full 6 gallons of gas at that weight. The seat height is still 26.5 inches, making the bike very rideable even for those riders that are not particularly long-legged. The Challenger uses an inverted 43mm front fork with 5.1 inches of travel and the Pursuit follows with the same. In the rear, the Pursuit has a Fox single shock with 4.5 inches of rear travel. What is great to see is the Indian is offering a premium package that includes the electronically preload adjustable Fox shock that we saw a few months ago in the Jack Daniels Limited Edition Challenger. I think many people don't bother to adjust the preload when going from solo to two up or when adding a significant amount of weight from luggage. As a result, the bike doesn't handle as good as it could. And the reason they don't is on most bikes, especially touring bikes, it requires moving a saddlebag or something else. It's not just as simple as a push of a button. But I'm excited to see this option on the touring model. I want to know, am I alone on this or do you agree that this is a great technology and hope to see it be more widely implemented by manufacturers? 4. Brakes in the front, we get dual Brembo 4-piston calipers on 320mm semi-floating disc, and in the rear, a single 2-piston caliper on a 298mm floating disc. I rode the Challenger, and the brakes were good, and they are exactly what I would expect on a big cruiser touring model. The Pursuit is a tad heavier, but I expect these brakes will still get the job done nicely. Indian describes these Brembo brakes as being race spec. And that's probably why they are good enough to get the job done, but I do feel I should mention that several of the other competitors in the Touring line are running three or even four piston calipers in the rear on these big bikes. 5. Wheels We find the same sport contrast cut wheels as the Challenger, which should be no surprise, and in the front we get a Metzler Cruise Tech 130 60 19, and in the rear a matching 180 60 16. I expect these Metzlers to hold the line nicely to the turns and still yet get great mileage before having to put new shoes on a bagger. That's nice when you plan to put a lot of touring miles on a motorcycle. 6. Tech In addition to the Pathfinder LED headlight, we also get all LED lighting throughout the bike. The fairing mounted instrument cluster features an analog speedometer and tachometer with fuel gauge, range, odometer, and current gear. The 7-inch touchscreen is powered by Ride Command, and model year 2022 bikes get a complimentary one-year trial of the Ride Command Plus, which includes features like live traffic, weather, intuitive destination search, vehicle health, and vehicle locator. After the first year, it becomes a fee-based subscription. The 7-inch touchscreen display has a real-time clock, ambient air temperature, 
heading, audio information display, map, navigation, Bluetooth status for phone and headset, and vehicle status, which includes tire pressure, voltage, engine hours, oil change. There's also vehicle info, including current ride data, trip meters, ride mode selection, screen brightness, vehicle trouble code readout, and Apple CarPlay integration. Note, no mention of Android Auto still, which I'm sure is a bummer for those Android phone users. But hey, if it's any consolation, you do get remote locking saddlebags and trunk, heated grips, and TPS, not to mention three riding modes including rain, standard, and sport. Each mode has been engineered with its own distinct traction control settings to match its throttle mapping and provide maximum confidence to the rider. 7. Premium Package In the U.S. there are two versions of the Pursuit. It is available with or without the Premium Package. The Premium Package includes the electronically adjustable preload rear shock from Fox which I was discussing earlier. I also understand that this is available for all existing Challenger owners. But there are a few other features we should mention like Smart Lean Technology which keep riders confidently grounded by utilizing a Bosch IMU to add cornering control to the dynamic traction control and ABS for precise cornering, maximized braking, and maximized acceleration while leaning. You also get integrated lower fairing lights and a heated seat which can be adjusted from the infotainment center or directly on the seat itself. I'm sure some people are truly going to appreciate these luxury upgrades. I'm sure you want to know the price and I'm about to get into that next. 8. Colors and Price These prices are MSRP before any logistic surcharges or dealer related fees. The Indian Pursuit starts at $30,000 for Black Metallic, Deep Water Metallic runs $30,750, and Maroon Metallic Crimson Metallic Two-Tone takes you to $31,500. The Premium Package adds $3,000 to any of these options, but we get a fourth color option with the Premium Package called Alumina Jade and Black Metallic and it will run you $35,500. In the Dark Horse variant we pay a little more and we get different color options. Black Smoke starts at $31,000. Spirit Blue Metallic runs $31,750. Silver Quartz Smoke is still $31,750. And Ruby Metallic Black Metallic Two-Tone runs $32,500. Again, if we go with the Premium Package, you can just add $3,000 to any of those previously mentioned color options, but we gain a quartz gray option that takes you to $35,750, and a pearl white black metallic two-tone is divided by a red stripe, and this is my favorite color, but of course it's the most expensive at $36,500. Before I go, I recently did a video on the Honda Goldwing, and someone wanted me to compare it to the BMW R18 Transcontinental. I am thinking maybe we should cover the Road Glide Limited specs as well and maybe compare all four of them. If you guys like that idea, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video, it really helps the channel grow, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from New Bike Mike. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.